Super excited to have a gentleman of this caliber jump in. So I'd like to introduce him really quickly uh, to most of the nation. He needs no introduction. Uh, he was a former attorney general for the great state of Oklahoma. Uh, he's also uh, the senior partner of the law firm Riggs, Abney, Neal, Turpin, Orbison, and Lewis, author of the book Turpin Time, The Wit and Wisdom of Mike Turpin. And I'd like to introduce all of you all to Mr. Mike Turpin. Hey, good to see everybody. Hey, Chris, thanks for having me. And of course, I can't help myself but to say Happy Mother's Day. And uh, what I've been saying around my household to all my kids, I said, my favorite song is 50 Ways to Call Your Mother. And, and Chris, they shake their hand and go, that was a song? I said, it is now, 50 Ways to Call Your Mother. And, and my mother, Marge, Chris, she's deceased, she's in heaven, but she still whispers in my ear every single day, Mother Marge. And, uh, and my wife, Susan's here at the house right now. We're getting ready to celebrate Mother's Day this evening and such. And um, Susan Turpin is the CEO of the Turpin household. She <laughs> makes sure that Turpin trains run on time. It's Turpin time. Right. Go ahead, Chris, let's get started. No, I love it, yeah. I caught her uh, setting up the technology, so that's good that you got, you know, uh, I, uh, IT support right there in the household. So, well, hold mind. that thought, Chris. You, you, you can relate to this, and I think most of your team there in Colorado can. I mean, we're, we are high touch people. Yeah. Harlan Stonecipher and Jeff Bell say meetings make money. You have a lot of meetings, Chris. I've been to several of them, and meetings make money. So, we're really kind of high, high touch people. We like to touch people, we like to have meetings, physical meetings. But now we're kind of throwing a curveball here where a lot of things are happening high tech. So I like to talk about high touch, high tech. We're all high touch people. First of all, that countless times. But now we've become high tech people. High touch, high tech. We've got to be good at both. I'm doing countless Zoom meetings now, as you are. So right. we've got to be adept at both of them, high touch and high tech. Here we go. Let's Absolutely. go ahead. Ask me a question. Let's get started, Chris. All right. Well, first, Mr. Turpin, I appreciate your time uh, to dedicate today. Mike, Mike. How do you got to call me Mike, man. I, All right, Mike. I don't. Okay, go ahead. Hey, I want to really quickly is uh, for a little bit of background. You know, would you share uh, how you got started in the law and how you were introduced to uh, uh, Mr. Harlan Stonesight? Yep. I got to be careful, you guys, because I could spend thirty minutes. Just, but my daddy ran a printing press, and he died with winter's ink under his fingernail. Yeah. My mother just had, my, my mother Marge at a trucking company, and uh, she was a dispatcher of 18 wheeler dump trucks. My point is, I grew up in a working class family like so many of us did, right? Well, eventually, I got to watching all those TV shows about Perry Mason and Owen Marshall and that sort of thing. I thought, doggone it, I want to try to be a lawyer. So, sure enough, I was going to be a school teacher, go coach at my old high school. And my, by the way, my wife became a school teacher, my son became a school teacher. And let me just say, teachers impact eternity teachers impact eternity but when I couldn't get the head coaching job at my old high school McLean High School in North Tulsa as a history teacher and a basketball coach they said Mike we don't need anybody right now I decided well I'll go to law school so I became a lawyer and my first job as a lawyer was working at the Muskogee Police Department I was police legal advisor I became attorney of Muskogee Oklahoma you've heard of the song Oki from Muskogee folks it's not a fictional place it's real I'm Muskogee Oki from Muskogee. And Chris, I decided to run for attorney general. And I ran for attorney general of the great state of Oklahoma. My slogan was, it's time for Turpin. It's Turpin time. Oh my gosh. And, and my biggest supporter, Chris, in the whole state, you're not surprised, was Harlan Stonesider. And so he helped me get elected attorney general. Harlan Stonesider with a network of friends he had all over Oklahoma. And as you know, all over the country and now all over the world, Legal Shield. He helped me get elected. Well, four years later, I thought, well, I think I'll run for governor. So I run for governor, come up short, get beat barely. And Harlan Stonesider said, now it's time for you to be a real lawyer. It's time for you to go into law practice and let me, because I'm trying to remember, here I am 30 years later, Chris, and in attorney for Lake Shield in the great state of Oklahoma, Colorado, as you well know. And I travel the country for the good of the cause, Shield. And it all got started, you asked me the question five minutes ago, with Harwood Stonecipher, helping me politically as attorney general and then for governor. And then when I lost, and Mike, it's time for you to practice law. You're going to be a prepaid legal, legal shield provider attorney. 
and that's what I've become. And it's been the greatest opportunity my whole life. I'm proud to say as a provider attorney, Chris, I'm your lawyer. And I've been a former attorney general, a former district attorney. I've argued in front of the United States Supreme Court. But the best thing that's ever happened to me professionally is to be a provider attorney for Legal Shield. So uh, I think that, you know, one of the things that I love that, you know, Mr. Stonesiver was such a visionary on was how the delivery of legal services uh, had evolved. You know, we've seen it now as this subscription-based model. Uh, but still, it's amazing to me that a majority of Americans uh, don't even know that legal service plans exist. Right. And so talk to us about, you know, how has the legal service plan industry evolved since you got started? It, it, it's truly involved fairly slowly. I mean, I, I really thought there would be like a, a revolution where all of a sudden everybody in North America would have an attorney a phone call away, and they should. But it's been more of an evolution than a revolution. That's what you do in Colorado, we do everywhere. Take what we have, and let's think about what we have here real quick. We have the most unique network of quality conscious and service oriented provider attorneys ever assembled in, in the history of mankind. So think about what I just said. We have the most unique quality conscious service oriented network of provider attorneys all over North America. The most unique has ever been assembled. We're like 5,000 lawyers strong, helping our members all over North America. It's an incredible concept that Harwood Stonestiver started about 50 years ago, not quite, but almost 50 years ago, and here we are now. And penetration into the marketplace, we've done well, but the potential is gargantuan for us to do so much better. Why? Because every citizen needs an attorney a phone call away. That's the reality of life, folks. And I like to use the word empowerment empowerment. I got that from my mother. When she first became a member of Legal Shield, she goes, Mike, I feel empowered. I feel empowered to stand up for myself on a traffic ticket or on a consumer complaint or whatever it might be. Mike, I feel empowered with Legal Shield. And she was, and you are, we all are. And that's the reality of life because you now have with Legal Shield access to affordable justice. I like to say, open the courthouse door, level the playing field and balance the scales of justice. That's what we do. We empower our members to do all of those things. It's been an, another member and bring more members and associates into what we do, this evolution. I would call it a revolution, but it's really been kind of an evolution, which means there's a lot for us to get done. As the poet would say, Robert Frost, Chris, we have miles to go before we sleep. Go ahead. Absolutely. The, uh, and I love what you just said. I had to write that down because I think a lot of people ask that question is that, you know, we've, the nation's 243 years old and prior to Legal Shield, uh, the concept of legal service plans didn't even exist in the United States. And so it's been a slow evolution of, of making sure that we educate people on exactly what it is that, uh, that we provide. And, and I think that what, I mean, and I'd love to hear your opinion on the, the time right now, because attorneys are limited in who they can, you know, they can see, you know, a lot of attorneys are trying to work remotely now. So the, you know, and we've been doing that forever, you know, where our whole process has been majority of our members never meet with their attorney in person. Right, right. Back to high tech, high touch. Yeah. Back to high tech, high touch. Uh, my, my wife's a school teacher. My son's a school teacher. Well, now, now our school teachers are all online. Every university across America. I'm, I'm a regent here in Oklahoma, higher ed regent. Well, we've watched higher ed across the country, across the world, where we confronted with the COVID-19 pandemic. They've all gone online, and we call it the great experiment. Chris, we're calling it the great experiment in higher education and common ed across the whole world, really, but across the country is where I'm more knowledgeable. And, and the grand experiment is what? The great experiment is can you take a whole classroom and put it online? And, and that's what we've been confronted with doing, and some are better at it than others. Well, that's where we are with this product. So much of our product has already been online. And we, we were almost ahead of the curve on all this. And, and we've done a wonderful job. And I like, but that the law is legal instead of logical. The law is legal instead of logical. And, and you may do what's commonsensical, but it may not be legal. And that's why I'm not just trying to promote lawyers. I'm not trying to just, what well, I, I call it law evangelism. I promote the practice of law, law evangelism. We need some of that with legal shield, law evangelism. You see what I'm saying? Jeff says it better than anybody, you know. Law happens, not just life happens, but law happens. And so I like to talk about law evangelism. I mean, people need a lawyer a phone call away. Why? 
because the law is legal instead of logical. You can do what you think is logical, but it, not, it, it may not be legal. So to have a, an attorney a phone call away, as my mother used to say, it empowers you, but it also gives you legal advice for you to make the very next decision in your life. It's, we call it preventive law to a large degree, as you know, before you sign that contract before you, and save you some money along the way. And what I love about Legal Shield, it gives you a sense of security. It gives you a sense of security. And what could be having this, this, this sense of security, knowing that you have your attorney, a provider attorney, the best network ever assembled, a phone call away or a click away, as you say. What do you think? No, I love it. And the, the, yeah. the, that sense of empowerment of being able to pick up the phone and have Riggs, Abney, Neil, Turpin, Orbison, and Lewis right here. Yeah. You know. A lawyer in the palm of your hand. A That's lawyer it. in the palm of your hand. I mean, it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, uh, we've come so far. I got a book. It's 20 years ago when, the, when, when we first were confronted with the opportunity of what is the internet? Well, the future is John Nays, but back then said the world has come to a point where we're all going to be a number on a computer. As the world spins faster and faster, it'll be all about high tech. But he said there'll be a greater and greater need for the human touch, not just high tech, but high touch. I'm just, I'm just saying, I want all of our team to understand we are the best at both of those right now. What we do in Legal Shield, we're so good at high tech, we're so good at high touch. We blend the two. We blend the two. Preoccupied with the screens of our life. You know what I'm talking about. Your phone, your iPad, your, your look at us right here, you know, your laptop. So, so the screens of our life matter. That's high tech. The human touch is still so relevant. That's why we have our meetings that are called off temporarily, but the physical meetings matter because personal contact alters opinions. What we're doing in Legal Shield is we magically and magnificently brought together high tech and high touch. You know, the way we sell, but also the way we provide the services. We provide the services with this unique network of attorneys all over this country, all over North America. And, and, and look, I brought a book. It's my Churchill book. It's a brand new book about Churchill. Nice. And Churchill said, most important of all was one word. When you're making a presentation, there was a famous essay by Churchill called The Scaffolding of Rhetoric. The Scaffolding of Rhetoric. How to Build an Oration. And he said, the most important quality of all is one sincerity, sincerity. So that's what I like about Salesforce. They're sincere, right? And, and that's what I like about our players. Like I said, quality conscious, service oriented, and very sincere how they help the members in this plan. You're going to get user friendly lawyers. Not every lawyer is user friendly, but in Legal Shield, we're trained by Jeff Bell in the home office to, in fact, be user friendly. And I'm going to say again, this brand new book about Churchill, he said the most important quality of all when we communicate with each other, Chris, is sincerity, sincerity. And so I talk kind of fast, but if I slow down, I had a case in Muskogee years ago. I slowed, I took Valiant, Chris. I slowed away. I didn't, act, I didn't act, take a Valiant, but you, you see the point. Right. I tried to slow down. So I got quiet and I slowed down. I lost the case. And a, a journalist covering the case there in Muskogee said, you didn't even believe in that case, did you, Mike? I tried to change my style. Right. Chris, if you talk fast, don't try to talk slow. If you talk slow and you're cool, calm, and collected, and like a backswing in golf, low, slow, and accurate. If you're that way, don't try to speed up. Don't try to be like somebody else. Right. If, if, if you talk with a, a little bit of rapidity and staccato, don't try to slow down. But if you, if you, slow, if you talk cool, calm, collected, don't try to speed up. Right. Be sincere with your own style. Be sincere with your own form of presentation. Sincerity, sincerity. And we got that throughout our organization, as you know, Chris. Absolutely. What else can we talk about? Well, the, um, you know, let's talk about lawyers because the American Bar Association wrote a report in 2016 called The Future of Legal Services. Right. And there they actually talked to two attorneys about uh, starting to offer legal service plans in their communities because they recognize the fact that, you know, 80% of the public can simply cannot afford to pick up the phone and talk to an attorney. So attorneys should actually start basically selling legal. I, I, I like to think that attorney's fees have become so exorbitant in so many ways that I can't afford myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I couldn't afford 
to hire Mike Turpin. I mean, because of what the law firm requires me to charge and how much an hour and all that sort of thing. Without a, without a legal shield plan, you, you couldn't have access to the best lawyers in America, North America, the whole world. We're international now, as you know. Without that, you couldn't have access to an attorney, a quality attorney for, you tell me the price right now, $25 a month, $30 a month, you know, whatever the plan might be. You know, for God's sakes, folks, my, my, my law firm requires me to charge $475 an hour. Wow. I'm almost embarrassed to tell you that, Chris, but, but I charge clients all over America, and I represent major corporations. I represent major fortune $5 an hour. So I couldn't afford it myself. You see what I'm saying? But with Legal Shield, you get the best lawyers, and I'm going to include myself, you know, in that opportunity, that formula, that equation for $25, $30 a month. I mean, there's just nothing like it. And, and it really has re revolutionized legal services in, in America today. The idea that the working men and women of this country, the police officers, the firefighters, the small businesses, the school teachers, I mean, the working, the working folks of this country can have the best lawyers in America a phone call away, a click away. Right. And that's revolutionary. Like I said, it's grown in an evolutionary path, but, but the concept itself is revolutionary. Mm -hmm. And every lawyer knows that. And every lawyer wants to be a part of it now. They want to be a part of what Harlan started 50 years ago and what Jeff Bell has taken and run with it. I like to say Harlan gave us roots, but Jeff Bell gave us wings. I love that. It couldn't be any better. This is the best time to be involved with Legal Shield in the history of the company. And, uh, you know, we've had attorneys that have tried to duplicate the subscription based model. And you mentioned it earlier is that Legal Shield's got a network of over 5,000 attorneys nationwide where what if in one attorney tries to do a subscription base the challenge is that they immediately hit a ceiling because they're not scalable they can only serve so many members before right. they run out of time right have you seen attorneys try doing you know legal shield subscription models everybody's trying to duplicate what we do right. i mean I, i've seen networks all over the country attorneys all over the country and what people don't realize is we have lawyers that are committed to the cause. They don't just take a call now and then. I mean, we get like hundreds of calls a week, you know, from Legal Shield members. We have thousands strong all over the country. I've already told you, we represent big companies, mm -hmm. but our biggest client is Legal Shield. We represent big companies. My firm does. It's a big law firm. We represent big companies all over the country. But our single biggest client is Legal Shield. Why? Because all of the members in Colorado collectively is our client. Mm -hmm. And we also, you know, we represent big companies. But our single biggest client, collectively speaking, is Legal Shield. Chris, what do I mean? When that member calls, we know we the biggest client. Yeah. And that's why we're so quality conscious and service oriented for that individual member that calls us because you collectively are our single biggest client. That's why our model works so well. And the home office does quality control on us. Jeff Bell and the wonderful team at the home office, they do quality control on all these lawyers. Now lawyers don't naturally take to quality control, but with legal shield, we do. They help us become better and better and better. They help us be the best that we can be. The home office does with all of the quality control, all the surveys. They check and see how well the product's working. So no one has that. People try to do the quality control we have. Nobody has the network that we have at Legal Shield. It's the best time in the history of the whole concept to be a part of Legal Shield. And I'm very proud, as I've already said, to be the provider attorney for Legal Shield. It's the best thing that ever happened in my life professionally. And a lot of great things have happened. I've lived an extraordinary life, but being a provider attorney for Legal Shield is the best thing that's happened to me professionally. So Harwood Stone Cipher gave me that opportunity, and now Jeff Bell's taking it and running with it. We're all in this thing together. What a great time to be part of the team at Legal Shield. Absolutely. Now, and we can't make speculations, but you know, seeing what's going on right now in in the the state of the nation, mm -hmm. you know, how long do you think it would take to even double our our active membership base. I mean, you know, there's going to be a point where we're going to hit a tipping point. You know, you probably read about crossing the chasm, the tipping point where we start to move into all out massive momentum. I call it keeping yeah. up with the Joneses. 
that's where you found out your neighbors got legal shield and they're like, well, I need that. You know, uh, what do you think like the timeline? What do you, would you be able to speculate from what you've known of the last, you know, 35 years uh, moving forward uh, when would you say you think that we're going to really move into becoming a household name? Well, every May 1st in America, every May 1st in America, we just passed May 1st, but every May 1st in America, the American Bar Association has what we call Law Day. May 1st is Law Day. Now, what that means, every bar association in America, state bar, Colorado, Oklahoma, you put lawyers at the local public television station, if you will, and they ask a lawyer, call in for legal advice. Chris, one day a year. Right. With Legal Shield, every day is law day. That's right. Every day is law day. I like that. They had law day in all 50 states. The American Bar Association sponsors it. So for one day, lawyers sit on a panel of phones at the public television station, you know, and online and say, we'll answer your calls for free one day a year. What right. we do is we answer calls 365 24 7 i mean you see the whole point we, we we are all about law day every day that's <laughs> what we're all about and you're asking me to predict the future here i, I believe we'll double our membership base in the next five years good i believe we'll double our membership base in the next five years that's what i believe because that's how important the issue is people now understand the, the need to be empowered right. and to protect their rights and like i said before it gives you a sense of security to have this product. But the word I like to use the most, Chris, is it empowers you to stand up for your rights. And you know, you really can't stand up for your rights unless you know what they are. Yep. Think about that. How do you stand up for your rights if you don't even know what they are? That's what your lawyer's there for, a phone call away, a click away. That's the beauty of this concept. New ideas create new realities. Absolutely. New ideas create new realities. That's why we're catching fire right now. That's why I think you double the membership base in the next five years. And everybody on this call, everybody on your team, I've been there, Chris. I've been to Colorado countless times. They need to be a part of this opportunity. Up, up, and away. Okay? All right. <laughs> I feel it, baby. I know. Yeah. I'm hoping that everybody else like, like, absorbs a lot of that energy coming across. Yeah, oh, wow. there you go. <laughs> now, the, um, you know, and the things are changing because the Colorado Bar Association, I was invited to actually speak at the – solo and small firm conference uh june 10th through the 12th and right. so i'm going to be one of the train i'm the only non-attorney training attorneys on legal service plans uh there at that conference so that'll be uh, june 10th through the 12th and we're doing it online yeah but, uh that's, that's gonna be a that's gonna be an incredible opportunity to educate people on what the future of legal service plan uh delivery looks like so, and for the Colorado Bar to invite at the end, that's, that's amazing. Chris, congratulations to you for having that opportunity. That speaks highly of how well regarded you are right there in the legal community, if you will, in the great state of Colorado. Right. So thank you for having that opportunity and, and, and for being a leader for us in the legal community. You, Chris, that's pretty cool. I know. No, it's, it's a great opportunity. And, and I'm hoping that one of the days the, uh, the Association of Attorneys General may have me in to, to speak to them as well. Okay. I'm the guy <laughs> that can help get that done. Well, now, now hold that thought. Phil Weiser, the Attorney General of Colorado, has already come and spoke mm -hmm. on a Super Saturday, hadn't he? Yes, he has. He I mean, so the Attorney General of Colorado knows exactly who we are and what we do. He believes in us and our concept. He knows you personally. He knows me personally. Absolutely. So, so it's nice to have the Chief Law Enforcement Officer for the whole state of Colorado on our team. Yes. He knows what we do, and he believes in what we do. Affordable oh, access to legal services. Phil Weiser, the Attorney General of Colorado. That's a good thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it was amazing how well he advocated for what we're doing in the community, uh, because he recognized the fact, too, is that there's a huge underserved population out there, 80% right. of uh, not just Coloradans, but North Americans. You That's know, true. and we're just now getting our footing in, Col in Canada. We're just now getting a footing in the United Kingdom. You know, right. we got Puerto Rico on the on the horizon. So uh, come on, come on, man! I hear you. We're hey, global. So the future's so bright, we got to wear shades as the song goes. <laughs> no, it's all true. I like to say, endure, maintain, prevail. It's yeah. all true. And looky here, I've got this great book. It's all about Sandra Day O'Connor. Mm -hmm. It's called 
the Lazy Bee. It's about her life and how she grew up. Sandra Day O'Connor is, you know, one of my favorite Supreme Court justices. Now, I've had the opportunity to meet her several times, and Sandra Day O'Connor says that the secret, the secret to happiness, Chris, hear me now, believe me later, hear me now, believe me later, the secret to happiness is three words, work that matters, mm -hmm. work that matters. That's what legal shield has meant to me my whole life. That's what it can mean to you and your whole team. Every member, every associate, every provider attorney, work that matters. We're just simply doing what Sandra D. O'Connor said we ought to be doing. The secret to happiness, three words, work that matters. One of my favorite Supreme Court judges, Sandra D. O'Connor, and I appeared in front of the United States Supreme Court as Attorney General of the state of Oklahoma, and she stopped me several times. General Turpin, I have another question for you. So it's kind of fun. Garth Brooks from Oklahoma said you got to have friends in low places. <laughs> but, Chris, I don't mind telling you, it's also kind of fun to have friends in high places, too, like Sandra Day O'Connor. You see the point. Oh, yeah. I'm going to check out that book. By the way. What is that? Thanks for having me. Oh, no, not a problem. The, yeah. uh, you know, I, I mean, I got some great notes here uh, right, of the, right out of the way. You know, I love that every day is law day. There's one yeah. thing that Mr. Stone Cipher, I think, really instilled in all of us, and I think you as well, is, is that we have a moral obligation to get out and educate people on what it is that we do. Well, Chris, I, I like to say this about moral obligations. The, the, the two pillars of, I'm getting, I, I have a history major at the University of Tulsa before my law degree. I was gonna be a history teacher and a basketball coach. That didn't work out, so I became a lawyer. That worked out pretty well. But as a history major, I learned this. The two pillars of Western civilization that make America, if not North America, the greatest countries in the whole world, I believe, is number one, the belief that tomorrow can be better than today. Mm -hmm. And number two, it's our personal moral obligation to make it so. Oh, I love that. Number one, tomorrow can be better than today. And number two, it's our personal moral obligation to make it so. So I've always believed that's the work we do with Legal Shield. We're improving the quality of life of every member we have. And that's why I'm so proud of the product. You know, that sense of security I keep talking about. We improve the quality of life of every member we have. So tomorrow can be better than today, and it's our personal moral obligation to make it so. I think that's what we're about. I think that's what we do. And I'm very proud to be a provider attorney for Legal Shield, as you know. Best opportunity in my life. Absolutely. Well, it's an honor to work with you, Mike, and also call you a friend. And I know you're a true advocate for the people. So again, I appreciate you. And uh, if you have anything final to say other than that, I'll, I'll let you uh, get back to, uh, to your Mother's Day uh, festivities. Yeah. Yeah. My, my mother Marge, my mother Marge used to say that you just got to have grit and wit, grit and wit. And there's, there's a famous book called Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, an Oklahoma author. And my mother was a big believer in that book. And there's a phrase in there where the man, the narrator said, I'm taking off across America and I'm armed by my mother's grit and wit, grit and wit. It's Mother's Day. So I want to reflect again on my mama telling me, you got to have grit and wit. Those are two good qualities all of us can have. I right. promise you that. So I wonder, I mean, you said she whispers in your ear, but do you ever feel like when you're stepping out of line, does she ever grab your ear and pull you Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, they say the best joint in town is mama's knee. <laughs> the best joint is mama's knee. Right. I mean, that's where we all learn from, from our mama. And yeah, she still whispers all those lessons every single day in my ear. And uh, I like, though, that I'm armed with her, my mother's grit and wit. That says Absolutely. a lot. So, 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 hey, have a great meeting. Ha have a great Mother's Day. And these are the best of times. You know, I know we're going through a lot in America and the world today with the COVID-19. These are challenging times. But one thing, you know, we've learned is, like President Kennedy said, don't forget this. This is kind of important. President Kennedy once said that we're all inhabiting the same earth. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. And we're all mortal. Mm -hmm. For once in our lifetime, all 7 billion people on this planet are kind of in the same boat. We're all confronting the same challenge. These are hard times, but these are times when everybody, I think, are gonna need access
to a lawyer, an attorney, a phone call away in the palm of their hand, a click away. And I'm proud to be that attorney for you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Have a, have a great day. Happy Thanks, Mother's Day. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful day and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. As soon as we open up, I either I'll come down to Oklahoma or you're going to have to make a trek up here to Colorado. Yeah, I look forward to coming back. All Thanks, right, so man. Have a good day. Thanks, Chris.